Yulan Trund, welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I want to talk about a topic that is often a bit neglected, although it can give you some nice extra research rewards. But before I talk about upgrading the Starbase, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do, please also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. But let's have a look at the Starbase first. We have to go to Alliance and there you find the Starbase. You have a lot to upgrade here because uh, to get the bonuses, which I'm, I'm showing you later as well, you need to do upgrades on the different things here on the Starbase. It's starting with uh, assembly chambers and uh, going via all the harvesters for collisional plasma, then we have it there for, come on, for the magnetic plasma, and it will continue like this. And there are some additional parts with diplomatic relations and with, um, they're sometimes hard to click, and the plasma processor, and all of this is required so you get more and more of the materials you need for upgrading. But there's not only this one part of the Stargate, a base, Stargate. Uh, I love the series and I recently watched a few episodes again, but it has nothing to do with this one. <laughs> but if, uh, if there was a Stargate game like this, I don't know if I, yeah, maybe. But let's stick with Star Trek. But there's a second part of the star base as well. Some might easily overlook because there's just one small arrow on the right side to, to find it. And that's the, the battle part of your star base. We still need to improve some things here compared to the, um, to the production part. But this is important too because this, with command and control and everything else that is part of this here, like the EPS distributors, like the shield modulator. This all decides if your starbase can survive an assault. There is this uh, kind of armada um, with the, of the Alliance assault uh, or starbase assault and um, you need to upgrade this defense part as well. And not only for the assaults because both parts of the station, you can switch between them, decide also what you can research and that is why upgrading is so important and to upgrade it as you can see right here you need material and that's subspace superconductors for example in other cases you will need that's all subspace superconductors let's have a look at something that needs something else so we go to the battle part perhaps we find something here uh, Tia is uh, doing quite a job here with upgrading, but uh, I can't show you stuff because of that, uh, of the way it's up upgrading is happening at the moment. Uh, that's the max level. You also will need some of the materials uh, for certain upgrades like the magnetic plasma. And um, that you refine here and um, not, yeah, kind of uh, collect here with the station when you put it either on a magnetic plasma um, mine or a collisional plasma mine and there you collect that stuff and that you also need for upgrading. The point is that if it, uh, oh yeah it's in the bottom there, you also need some um, magnetic plasma to upgrade the diplomatic relations and you need some collisional plasma. So both kinds of plasma we are collecting at the moment we need for the upgrades plus the subspace superconductors. And you see the reason why we cannot upgrade the diplomatic relations now is the missing superconductors. So there are three things you have to keep in mind. One thing, the, the person that's dealing with the star base, it, it's good to have someone taking care of it. We have a Commodore that's responsible for our Starbase and uh, he's dealing alone with the Starbase. Um, greetings Tia, by the way. And taking care that it's regularly upgraded as soon as, as it's possible again. 
and um, that it's harvesting the plasma we need because as I said we need b both kinds of plasma we can uh, mine at the moment for the diplomatic relations and uh, the collisional you get from one source the magnetic from another and so our Commodore has to take care to put the starbase on the right mining node uh, in the right nebula in, in, in the end to mine the, the stuff we need. But for the superconductors it's the responsibility of the whole alliance to get them because uh, for this we need to go to the alliance store and have a look at the exchanges because the superconductors you get if you exchange what you get from Cadastian Armadas. And then in the Marquis bounties and the Alliance Altruism and the Resistance bounties, you can exchange this for ma different materials. And here, I left this one open to show at least one today, you can get superconductors. And every member of the Alliance regularly needs to exchange their Cadastian loot and uh, so that the Alliance has enough superconductors to upgrade the star base. And first of all, of course, every member of the Alliance needs to do Cardassian Armadas to be able to exchange Cardassian loot here for um, the superconductors. And uh, the Alliance reserves is um, also important for some star base actions. So you need to do the exchanges. And I will just do one exchange now. Um, so we get a little bit more and uh, I will soon have to do some Cardassian Armadas again. But as you can see, whenever you can, you need to do the exchanges here so that your alliance has the resources and materials it needs to upgrade the star base. And that was the reason why I wanted to do this video in the first place, because many people forget this. It usually works if Tia or me just start one Cardassian Armada, then a whole bunch of people follows by doing them because that's kind of a reminder. But you need to remind your people in your alliance regularly to do those Armadas and to do the exchanges so that your alliance can continue upgrading it. Because there we come to the part where it also is good for everyone in your alliance because with the Alliance Starbase there was introduce the starbase research and the starbase research has a lot of nice stuff in it but uh, you can see I still can do a lot but I have so much new research I can do now after reaching level 51 uh, because a lot changed by the way I will make a video as well about the changes that come with level 51 when you when you get there because it's a lot but he, uh, that's why I haven't done them all yet usually I have my um, starbase uh, research on max and uh, I'm just waiting for Tia to upgrade the starbase more. But you see with a lot of things um, you need certain parts of the starbase being upgraded. Here it says I need the tactical deck level 14 of the starbase or um, here I need the um, diplomatic relations on level 14. For this one I need the tactical deck again and again and for this one I need the assembly chambers on level 14. So what you can research doesn't just depend on your level and what you can afford and whatever, it depends on the upgrades of the starbase and that's why it's important that someone is taking care of it and that the whole alliance takes care of delivering uh, the materials for upgrading it because everyone benefits. You see that there's not only um, like in the beginning here, research on, on uh, working against Cardassian Armadas. There's uh, territory research here. There's uh, general battle research. There's uh, material research here. And the efficiency parts, that's why I'm really waiting for the assembly chambers, is um, always important as well. And so the Alliance Starbase benefits everyone in your Alliance, so everyone in the Alliance should also work on making it possible to upgrading the Starbase. And as I said, that was one of the reasons for making this video, to get it back into the minds of people that they don't forget about their Starbase, because a lot of benefits depend on it. And if you want to add something on upgrading the Starbase, I did a video on the Starbase in general before, then please write it in the comments. Uh, upgrading is, is a topic as well 
um, that makes uh, some problems to some alliances. I know that. And if you just want to ask questions or have video requests or just want to say hi and where you're from, you know that I regularly read your comments. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here on the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.